You know, you've always been so kind to me, right? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how I could show my appreciation for all things you do. Okay, I seriously can't make up my mind over who I'm going to spend Valentine's Day with. They both have their own unique qualities about them, you know? David's like buffing in shape, but Chris, on the other hand, is rich. Well, I personally think that David is the better choice. He's all around a great guy, and I can tell he really cares about you. Sarah, did you not hear what I just said? I said Chris is rich. <laughs> oh, Courtney, you never change. What? I can't help it if all the boys want me. It's hard work juggling this many men. Is something wrong? No, no, yeah, just, do you ever think of maybe just being with one guy instead of a bunch of different other ones? Yeah, I mean, it crosses my mind from time to time, but I'm just exploring my options, you know? I read an Instagram article that said I have to sleep with at least 50 guys before I can truly find myself. What? That can't be true. Well, it was on a meme page, but it makes sense. I don't know, I would just feel so empty inside, you know? Like, are you even able to pair bond with a guy after sleeping around that much? What does that mean? Like, to connect, to feel intimate with someone you care about, and to genuinely feel love. Oh, Sarah, I stopped believing in fairy tales a long time ago. I have to use the restroom. Can you watch my stuff? I agree with you, by the way. Excuse me? Uh, about what you said? I agree with you. The whole thing. <laughs> I think magazines are lying to women when they tell them they need to sleep with a hundred guys in order for them to feel empowered. Same goes for guys, by the way. Kyle, nice to meet you. Sarah, <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, do you come here often? Yeah, all the time. Yeah, and then I just figured after the eighth season of playing with the Dodgers, I'd take some time. Mm, did I hear someone say Dodgers? Oh, um, yeah, I used to play professional baseball. Wow, know. that's amazing. Well, I'm Courtney. I'm Sarah's best friend. If you want to get to know Sarah, you're going to have to go through me first. Oh, um, nice to meet you, Courtney. Uh, anyway, uh, we should hang out sometime. Do you have Instagram? Uh, yeah, here. I'm on Instagram as well. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, let's come on an exchange. Maybe we can do something this weekend. What the F? A professional baseball player? What does he want with Sarah? Does he not notice me standing here? I can't believe he's choosing her over me. That's an insult. I really hope no one is watching this right now. It's bad for my image. Well, um, yeah, we should hang out this weekend. Yeah, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, Katie. Courtney. <clears throat> wow, <laughs> that was different. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll have a Valentine this year after all. <sighs> Courtney, wait, what are you doing here? It's Saturday, remember? We were gonna go check out that restaurant Fairfax today. Oh shoot, we did say that, didn't we? Something the matter? Uh, no, it's just that Kyle and I are going to Catalina Island today. Kyle, the baseball player? That's the one. How are you, Courtney? Great. Uh, Catalina Island, huh? Was this like your guys' first date or something? Um, no. This is, what, like date number five now? Yeah, we've actually been hanging out all week since we first met. I was gonna tell you, I just hadn't had the chance to talk to you. That's great. Um, you guys should check out the ferries that take you across. They get booked out very fast. We're taking a helicopter. Of course, you are. Uh, you ready to go, babe? Yeah, uh, can we have a minute?
I'm so sorry, Courtney. I, I was gonna tell you, I just hadn't had a chance to talk to you, but you can hang out here, use my pool. Mikasa Sukasa. Hey, are you sure about this guy? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, he is an athlete, we know how they are. They're cheaters. Not everyone's a cheater, Courtney. He's a good guy, you'll see. Courtney could not handle the fact that Sarah found herself a great man, but what bothered her even more was the fact that he didn't even notice Courtney. Her ego couldn't handle it. She's the prettier one. Why doesn't he want her? On the other hand, Sarah was head over heels in love with her new boyfriend. He was everything she could have ever asked for in a guy. For the next few weeks, Sarah and Kyle spent every day together as Courtney tagged along. Her jealousy was eating her alive, so she came up with a bright idea on how to break the two of them up. My cards now. <laughs> you know you cheat. All right, that's the last one. I keep losing. I suck at this game. It's not that you suck. You're just playing against an expert. <laughs> yeah, whatever. All right, I'm tired. I'm gonna go downstairs to get ready for bed. Okay, I'll see yeah. you in a sec. <sighs> yeah, I should probably get changed too. Could you help me with something? Um. Yeah, sure. Uh, my necklace is kind of broken and I can't reach it. Do you think you can do it for me? Um, yeah, <laughs> sure. All right, got it. Thanks. You know, you've always been so kind to me, right? Yeah, no problem. Sometimes I wonder how I could show my appreciation for all things you do. You don't really need to. Honestly, you're good. Okay, well, let me make you a drink. No, no, no. I'm, I'm good. I'm probably going to get going in a bit anyways. Are you sure? Just one drink. You don't have to finish it if you don't want. My treat. Hey babe, do we have plans this weekend? Oh my gosh, Kyle, get off me, you pervert! What the hell is going on? Sarah, he just threw himself at me! How could you, Kyle? <laughs> Sarah was devastated. She couldn't believe it. The man of her dreams was making moves on her best friend. Sarah spent weeks and months crying in bed as she was heartbroken from the whole experience. Everything seemed well until Courtney realized the deep pain that she had caused her friend and she sent Sarah into a depression. After a while, Courtney realized the mistake she made and decided to make things right again. Thanks for coming over, girl. I just needed someone to talk to, you know? I didn't want to be alone on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you as well. I just can't get over him, you know? He was the perfect guy for me. Literally everything that I wanted in a man. <sighs> he even said he wanted to get married and start a family with me. But you were right. All men are cheaters. <laughs> he was a cheater just like the rest of them. You know, Sarah, that's not necessarily true. Yes, it is. He proved it. I'm just really glad that I have trustworthy friends like you to look after me, you know? You know, Sarah, there's something I need to tell you about that night. What? This is really hard for me, and you're probably never going to want to talk to me again, but you deserve to know. Know what? Kyle wasn't coming on to me that night. He was actually doing the opposite. It was me trying to get Kyle to give me attention, and he wouldn't, he wouldn't budge. So I slipped something into his drink when we were talking. I'm sorry. Why would you do something like that? Because I'm insecure, Sarah. I, I wasn't being loving of myself and I was jealous you actually found yourself a good guy and I'm over here dating losers that don't take me seriously. So, 
nothing happened between you two? No, I just pulled him on top of me when you were coming upstairs. I can't believe you, Courtney. He was the perfect guy. He'll probably never forgive me once he finds out. I wouldn't be too sure about that. What? Kyle, oh my god. Oh my god, Courtney called me and told me what she did. And she wanted to make things better. Oh my god, Kyle. I'm so glad you're here. What? <laughs> I look a mess right now, though. <laughs> oh, stop it. No, you look beautiful just the way you are. If anything, you're a hot mess. <laughs> Anyways, we have a lot of lost time we need to make up for. So, will you be my Valentine? Of course. Of course I will be. Will you be mine? Or does that go without saying? I think that kind of goes without saying, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh God, I missed you so much. I missed you too. Uh -huh. I hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.